G'day and welcome back to The Donut Show, where we make virtual donuts you can't eat. So um, in this video, we're going to make the icing. We're going to start making the icing. So what I want to do is I want to basically, I mean, there's, as always, a hundred ways you could do it. But the way I'm going to do it in this part is going to be the easiest way. And that's to take half of my donut, just cut off the top half, duplicate that, and then give it some thickness, and then that is going to look like icing on top of it. So what I want to do is uh, I'm in object mode right now, but if I went into edit mode, this will enable me to, as we mentioned in the last video, click on each of these vertices here. So I want to select half of my mesh. So if I was just to drag, like drag a box over it, you can see I'm selecting, but a couple of problems. One, you can see that like it's actually kind of hard to look like side on, but also I'm not selecting through the mesh. So first thing I want to show you is uh, how to look directly side on, because this is kind of like free form look and there's perspective things there. But sometimes when you're modeling, you want to look dead on and like do like an intersection, like cut something in half. So I'm going to use number pad one and that will look front on to the mesh. You can also use number pad three and that's just the right hand side of that. And then number pad seven will look top down. Get my keyboard shortcut list. If you haven't uh, got that already, that'll come in handy, but it's all there. Um, alternatively, the other way, if you don't have the number pad, you can just click up here, these little axes here. Um, that's that's how you can look side on, front on, etc. cetera. Um, or as I mentioned before as well, for people that don't have a number pad, the tilde hotkey, that key underneath escape, uh, that, also has this little pie menu, so you can go top, right, left, or, because there's actually a fourth way you could do it, this is the same hotkey, I believe, as ZBrush, but if you hold down Alt and then middle mouse drag, like if I dragged up or if I drag to the right or left, it'll just snap you to the closest axi view, uh, which is, there you go, there's four ways to do it now in Blender. There used to just be one, a number pad, right? Um, but anyways, Blender's more accessible now. Where we invite all colors into Blender now. The touch devices and styluses and everything. All right, so I'm looking front on right now. Now I wanna select half the mesh, but I can't because I'm not able to see through it. So you can do that by going to the top there. There's a mode called X-ray mode. So X-ray, right. Um, the hotkey for that, by the way, if you want it, is Alt-Z. Alt Z will just toggle between that mode there. So with that there done, now I can drag a box over it and you can see I've selected the top half of my donut. So I want I want it to be the top half, like you could go like that, but I wanna make the icing, there's gonna be like dribbling icing in the uh, next part of the next video. We'll do the dribbling bit, but for now, just wanna select the top part. So uh, I wanna duplicate this. So to do that, the hotkey is Shift D. D, shift D for duplicate. And when you do that, you'll notice immediately after that, it's duplicated it and it's now following your cursor. Um, now I don't wanna click right now because then that would just place it randomly here. I wanna cancel its movement. So I want to snap it back to where it was because I want it to be just resting on the donut. So I can do that by hitting escape or by right clicking. Either of those functions will cancel a movement and it will now snap it back to its original location. So it's duplicated and it's now resting on top of the donut. Um, so straight after that, I wanna immediately make it its own object. So to do that, the hotkey is P. P for part of it to be separated. <laughs> I don't know why it's P, it's been P forever. Uh, but P for penguin. <laughs> That's a good good way to remember it. I don't know why I said that. Uh, we're gonna select selection, okay, selection. All right, so now that I've done that, if you exit out of edit mode into object mode with tab, by the way, uh, you can see we now have, we have two objects. Ta-da! And by the way, we haven't talked about the outliner, but it's this section in the top right-hand corner. Um, it actually displays all of your objects. So if you click this little drop down. Um, you'll see all the objects that are currently in your scene. So you can see we've now got two objects called Taurus. Um, so actually, this is a good point. We should probably give them names right now. So uh, I can double click this and I can call it icing. Um, the other way, by the way, you can rename something is at any point, 
right here. It's the same hotkey as you rename a file in Windows, which is F2. So at any point, like where your mouse is somewhere, you just want to give something a quick name, F2 uh, is how you can name it. So I'll just call that donut, and you can see it's now given the name up there in the outliner, icing and donut. Just a quick thing, by the way, when we duplicated this, there's going to be some people following this tutorial that, uh, and I'm just ignore this if you didn't do this, but some people are stuck right now because after they duplicated the icing, they right click and then they click something else. And now you have a horrible problem, the worst problem ever. You can see you've got mesh that is intersecting other mesh and you don't know how to select part of the mesh, like the mesh that's on top of it. And it's, it's, it's the worst problem, worse than Hitler. Uh, no, um, but uh, to, if you have this problem, what you want to do is you, uh, there's a hotkey, control L. If you've got a, a ver like one vertice selected, control L will select all of its connected vertices. So I'm saying this because some people will be stuck at this point and they'll be like, ah, I can't continue. So that's how you do it. You select part of the mesh. Anyways, I'm going to delete that. And now we've got our donut and our icing. Ta-da! Okay, so um, it's now sitting on top. Hooray for us. Uh, by the way, I should, I, this is my third time recording this video, so I, I accidentally uh, haven't done this. But when you, by default, this is what you'll see. When, no, no, one more, there we go. When you try to zoom into your donut, you'll see that it's like half, it's like cutting into your donut and it's very annoying. Um, it's just because the clipping amount for Blender, like as a default, is set like quite high, like the, the start clipping, which means that, because it's like it's designed, Blender's designed to work for like large scale scenes and we're working at like 10 centimeters right now, really small. So this, uh, I'm pushing N, N for Nelly, nothing to do with properties, but it's it brings up the properties sidebar or you can click the little arrow up there and drag that out. Um, anyways. Clipping start, I just want to change that to 0 0.001. And now when I zoom into the donut, it doesn't clip. So we can actually get in close without things disappearing. Okay, I'll hide that again. Okay, so I want to give this some thickness. The donut is paper thin. It is a paper yarmulke and we want to give it thickness. So uh, there's a modifier for that. Um, so if you go to the modifier stack, by the way, I discovered someone in the comments mentioned spanner and wrench are the same thing. Today I learned. <laughs> so uh, icing, make sure your icing selected and we're gonna go add modifier up here. And the one we're looking for is called solidify. What this does is it gives thickness to any mesh. So it basically extrudes it and it's now given thickness to it. Um, and you can see that it's now a super, super thick icing. Um, it's currently, facing inwards. So that uh, icing is pushing into the mesh itself. So there's this offset value here. If I drag that all the way up, it's now facing outwards. But it's too thick, obviously, unless you wanted a crazy amount of icing like they do for uh, like cream cheese on bagels, right? It's just like, <laughs> here's a kilo of cream cheese on a bagel. Too much. Um, so what I want to do, just change this thickness amount to something reasonable. So I'll just type in, I don't know, 0 0.002. We'll give you two millimeters of uh, of icing. Maybe I'll, I'll add a, a five at the end there just to, you know, it, it looks nice if it's like a juicy, thick, thick icing on top. <laughs> That's so gross. Ah, uh, dear. All right. So one final thing before we get to the next video. Hey, we're making good time. Uh, I want to move, uh, cause you can see like on the edge here, like that's a hard edge for that icing. It's, it, you could cut your, cut your teeth on that edge there. It's a hard and right angle. And that's because what we've got is we've got the solid, uh, sorry, the subsurf modifier. It's smoothing it out, but it's doing that first. And then it's doing the solidify step after it. And it's giving it a hard right angle edge. So I want to swap those around cause it works top to bottom. So I'm just going to hit the up arrow. Now it's solidify first, and now we've got a rounded edge for that icing there. Yay for us, cool. Um, so we will, in the next part of this tutorial, we will uh, go in and edit it, and we'll actually start to make it look droopy, like it's dribbling down a little bit. So go ahead, click here to watch the next video, and I will see you there.